I need some time to plan our strategy. In the meantime, there are others around Devil's Crossing who could use your help. Take a moment to mingle with your fellow survivors. Kasparov, our resident scientist, is really eager to speak with you. He babbled some nonsense, but I believe he wants to talk about your connection with the Ethereals. Barnabas, our handyman, said he needed help with our water pump. When you're done assisting them, speak with me in my office inside the prison. Welcome to my workshop. I saw you fighting the dead out in Lower Crossing, and I dare say you were absolutely brilliant. Evidently, cutting you off that noose was the best decision the captain made that day. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Kasparov, scientist and inventor. What brings you to my humble shop? Rift gates, yes. The ethereals use them to get around. I was working on a way to close them, but then you stumbled through ours. We have never seen a human, possessed or otherwise, pass through one before. Not a living one, anyway. It was then that I realized that we could put these portals to use. There is something about you that is attuned to the Rift Gates, and I intend to replicate it. You don't remember anything, do you? I may have taken some liberties while you were out cold. It was just a few tests, a blood sample or two, nothing major. The results were... curious. It appears that your body is still teeming with residual aether energies. Don't worry, you won't be growing any new limbs. Probably. But I'm going on tangents here. I believe that, with a correctly tuned pulse of aether energy, we can replicate this phenomenon in a controlled manner. As in, without the need for pesky possession. I've been working on just the device to do it, but it needs power. For that, I require Aether Crystal Fragments. You'll be looking for large formations of crystals with an unnatural green glow. They are strewn about the landscape now, anywhere the Ethereals have left their mark. Shouldn't be too hard to find especially around places with large concentrations of corpses. I'd check the graveyard. Be careful, though. Those crystals are a bit unstable around the living. Did you bring back the Aether crystal fragments I require? Excellent. These will do perfectly. I'll just place them into my device here, and... Oh my, that's not right. Not at all. That pulse, it wasn't supposed to go off. Oh dear. One, two, three... Yes, my fingers are still intact. Did it reach you too? How do you feel? Ah, very good. I'm sure a little more aether in your system won't do you the slightest harm. Okay, maybe it was a lot more. But you look fine. Fitter than ever. A real shame about the prototype, though. Showed such promise. Perhaps if I had more fragments. Ah, we've been so preoccupied with this Riftgate business that I completely forgot about my apprentice, Starlet. I sent her out to the Burwich Estates to fetch parts for our research, and she's been gone entirely too long. Seems her ineptitude carries beyond just the workstation. The cabin sent you over? He must have done quite a service with the dead if he's got hands to spare for old Barnabas. Let's get to business, yeah? Our wind pump's broken down again and we're running low on water. We're all out of parts, so I can't fix her up. Can always melt down what weapons we have, but I'm not too fond of being barred in my sleep. I'll need scrap from Lower Crossing. Search the ruined houses and the old dumping grounds on the far side of Lower Crossing past the burial hill. Smash some junk. Search the bodies of those things roaming around out there. Where you get it isn't that important to me. Just that you get it soon. We're running out of drinking water. Nothing to be said about ever taking a bath again. Did you get the scrap? Perfect. I'll get the wind pump up and running in no time. Devil's Crossing will have safe drinking water again, and it's all thanks to you. First glass is on me. Well, the good news is, I got the water pumping again. The only problem is, it smells like a sewer. Only about a tenfold worse. 
Well, I haven't smelled something this rotten since. Since I cleared out of Dennis Slith ages ago. There are loathsome reptiles that make their homes in swamps and dank caves. They secrete a nasty poison into the water that makes it drinkable for them, but nearly always fatal to us. I bet good iron there's a nest in that cave that fuels our pump. I'm too old for all this spelunking, so I need you to go down there and kill it. This key will open the cellar in the shack behind me, right by that accursed rift gate. It connects to the bowels of the prison, which should lead you to the cave. Find the Slith Matriarch that's likely to pollute in our water supply, and the poison should clear out on its own. You do this, and all the Devil's Crossing will be honoring your name with every glass.
Need luck clearing out those slits? People are starting to beg me for water. I don't know how many more times I can say it'll melt your guts before they just rush me and take it. Well done. Once I pump out the remaining poison water, the spring should be clean enough for drinking. I'll make sure to let people know how much help you've been. They'll be grateful that they can get a drink without dissolving their intestines. Good, you're back. I've heard good things from both Kasparov and Barnabas. You're a real asset to this community. One of my scouts came back with news making our next move clear. The Come see what's left of my wares. Put it to good use. <laughs> <laughs> 